Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I've got an interesting video for you. Today's video is actually a VR that I did for a fellow YouTube friend of mine. It was a contest that this guy had and I did this video and it got a lot of people laughing and it got a lot of people just thought that it was the funniest thing in the world. So there has been a request by several people that I re-release this video uh, on my normal channel. So I've taken the video, I've done some edits to it, and here it is. I hope you enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So the first thing I have is a shop towel. This is a blue shop towel. I have a pair of uh, kitchen shears here, scissors. I have a hole punch. I have a spoon. I have a can of tomato paste. And some fancy feast grilled or excuse me, turkey, turkey and giblets feast cat food. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a fancy feast stove. For the fuel, I'm going to use heat in the yellow bottle. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take my spoon and kind of break this label off. I'm going to take the paper off of this fancy feast. Oh, bear with me. This is uh, turkey and giblets feast. What I'm trying to do is get this darn label off. They glue these things on and it's kind of a pickle. And of course, I choose the spot that has the most glue, of course. Go figure, right? So there we go, we got the label off. Now what we need to do is we need to take, after we've got our label off of our cat food, we need to take our cat food and open it up. And use our spoon. Mmm. That's not too bad. Mmm. Fancy feet. What kind, what kind was that again? Turkey and giblets. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. That's some pretty tasty cat food. Oh my God, I had to bring my tea out with me. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, giblets and turkey. Mm. Mm. My gosh, that is... That's some good cat food. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to get my uh, can opener. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is just giblets and turkey right there, folks. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 You gotta get every last bit out of that can, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that stuff is good. The good thing we're on my unfiltered channel. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Now my can is empty, right? So, uh, mm, mm, mm. that was some good stuff. Ooh, yeah, turkey and giblets, feast, classic. Man, that was good. Mm -mm -mm. What kind of nutrients did I get out of that? Purina.com. Okay, that was three ounces of kitty food. But I gotta run to the house real quick, I forgot my can opener. 
So I'll be right back. Man, that was some good cat food. Mm. So, uh, I got that. Mm. I'm going to get a little more out of there. Man. I don't know what they're putting in that cat food, but man. Mm, mm, mm. 57 cents a can, man. Mm. At Walmart. So this tomato paste, I got to do the same thing, but I'm not going to eat this. I don't, I don't care for tomatoes. And well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm allergic to tomatoes. So uh, I'm just going to pour this out. But <clears throat> so I got to. I gotta open this can up. Oh hell. Okay, there's one end. Make sure that that's uh so I'm gonna take this piece off. Just set that aside. And uh, let's borrow this fancy feast can for a minute. Just to keep the stuff from coming out on the bottom. Let's see if we can't break that baby loose. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Mm. Okay, I got a little bit of a mess here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this down in the dirt real quick. There we go. Pretty close. Mm. I don't know about that. So, uh, okay. Oh man, I'm getting my table all dirty. At this point, I got to get this uh, napkin in here. Be careful not to cut your fingers. But I'm just going to kind of get what I can out of here. Get it as clean as I can without cutting my finger off. Mm, mm, mm. That is tasty. I need more uh, tea. Okay, so what we're doing with this project is we're making an alcohol stove, a fancy feast stove. So first thing I need to do, this is fairly clean. Clean as it's going to get. It'll smoke a little bit probably because I didn't get all the cat food out of there. Careful putting your fingers in here, you don't want to cut them. Mm. That is mm, delicious. No wonder them cats come running. Okay. I'm trying to clean these as much as I can. Okay, so what, I'm, what I want to do is I want to put this can inside of here and I need this can, this top can, to be one inch above the rim of this bottom can. So for, for me to do that, I've found that if I cut down about to this second little rib right here, that's going to be about perfect. So that's what I'm going to do with these scissors. I'm going to cut in right here and get up to that second rib. And we're going to hopefully get this baby cut around. Now you want to make this cut as straight as possible. I'll explain that a little better here in a minute. But we need this cut to be fairly straight. Okay. It's kind of fighting with me here. Well, I'm trying to make this video not too long. Okay, so I'm looking at that. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. The reason I need it straight is because I don't want this thing angled because when I set my pot on it, it'll be angled. I gotta have it fairly straight. So let me make one more pass here. And just to make sure that we're doing good. I'm just kind of cleaning it up. 
nothing too crazy and my apology folks for this uh, video being a bit long uh, I'm trying to do a good job here okay so there we go that looks good so now I'm gonna take my hole punch right here I'm gonna punch one hole right in the top of this can right below the rim right there boom just like that see that what that's going to do is that's going to allow airflow. I'm going to do one more on the opposite side just for good measure. You don't have to. Honestly, you can get by with just one hole, but I like putting two. And now on the bottom, I'm going to make three little holes or four or just something because I need to let uh, the, the uh, alcohol flow through. So I think I'll just do like maybe three holes or something. Let me get it about right there. There's two. And uh, you can see that this takes a lot of expertise to do this. See how simple that is? Okay. So what that's going to do, again, is that's going to allow the fuel to flow through up into this, which is going to be our wick. right there again this is going to serve as a wick and that's looking pretty good it's actually getting a little tiny thick but it's okay okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this baby down whoops and I'm gonna roll this wicking material around this can here. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job. Now that I have that done, I'm going to lay this baby down in here. Hopefully it'll all fit. Okay, I'm having trouble here. Oh no, it didn't want to go. Okay, let's try it again. So far, so good, right? Don't cut yourself. It's a little bit thick. That's why I'm having trouble cramming it in there. We got it in. So now you can see the can is, is in there. And I have this wicking material. That's my stove right there. I'm going to use the yellow heat. This is this is good fuel. And one ounce of this fuel will burn this thing for about eight minutes. So I'm just going to fill this up a little bit. I probably put maybe two ounces in there. And I'm going to let it sit. And in the in the time while it's sitting, it's going to be soaking up into that wick. And I'm going to reposition the camera, and we're going to do a quick boil test on this new Fancy Feast stove. You can see that this thing has already saturated down. This wick is already wet. See that? Pretty quickly. I'll light the wick. And it's probably hard to, to see that it's lit in the daytime because it's a... It's an alcohol stove, but it is lit. So now I'm going to take 16 ounces of water and put it in this little aluminum pan here, and we're going to set the pan directly on the little fancy fee stove. Just like that. And we'll just let that baby sit. There's a little look at that fancy feast burner. The reason we need those holes is so that when we set the pot down it doesn't uh, put pressure in that inner chamber and what will happen is it will spill the alcohol out through the wick and you can see that it clearly holds the weight of this pot that's 16 ounces of water in there two cups of water usually it takes about eight minutes or so very light bubbles just getting on the bottom of the pan there see them little tiny little bubbles down in there these are very effective little stoves Man. 
Man, that cat food was good. I haven't ate cat food in a long time. That was pretty tasty. Giblets, what was it? Turkey and giblets feast. Classic. Turkey and giblets feast. Oh, sorry. I'll have to get some more of that when I get back to Walmart. Man. These are perfect for ultra light backpacking. Because they don't weigh much at all. And they're very effective. And it's cool because when you're out in the woods, you don't have this loud stove <sighs> making all these racket. You can actually have a silent stove and hear everything in nature. And that's why I like these. We're at a very light boil down there right now. You can also use denatured alcohol for these stoves as fuel. You can use isopropyl alcohol, but uh, that one's going to leave a lot of soot and you're going to need at least 91%. It's going to make the bottom of your pan black. This heat works good. It's good fuel. So does uh, denatured alcohol. Good fuel. I'm starting to hear the water boiling. You can hear it. little bubbles but I want a good solid rolling boil does a pretty good job doesn't it Yeah, let's take a look now. I would consider this a rolling boil. So, sounds like I got a train coming through in the yard behind me. So, now that my water's done, I can pull the pot off if it's not too hot. Let's see if I have a pot holder out there. It's got a handle, but it's still hot. So I'll put that off. And then if you're curious about how to snuff this stove out, just take a pan and take the oxygen away from the stove and it'll put it out. So I can put that in this container. And now I have some good purified water. Let that cool and that'll be ready to drink. We're good to go. Okay, folks. Well, there you have it. There is a very simple fancy feast stove. That's what it looks like after its uh, first burn. Over time this wick will burn down and it'll get black and uh, you can replace it over time if you need to. It's a good stove, it's very effective. We were obviously able to boil and purify 16 ounces of water. Didn't take much to make this stove, it's very very inexpensive but quite light, very light stove. And uh, it holds uh, I think 3 ounces of fuel which uh, will definitely boil 16 ounces of, of uh, water, no problem. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you got some fun out of this video. It was fun for me. And uh, please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.